2017 was a record-breaking hurricane season. Not one, but two powerful Cat 5 storms made landfall. Another produced over a meter of rain, making it the wettest hurricane to hit the USA. And there was an unusual sight of a Cat 3 that developed across the eastern side of the Atlantic. So why was 2017 so active? Met Office tropical prediction scientist Julian Hemming explains. It was an active hurricane season for a number of reasons. Firstly, because of the sea surface temperatures. Now actually, early in the season, the sea temperatures were below average, but they rose rapidly through the season, uh, such that but they were above average during the peak part of the season in September. And the higher sea temperatures provided ample fuel for tropical cyclones to develop during that period. Another reason was the fact that we had very low wind shear during the peak part of the hurricane season. Now wind shear is when uh, the winds vary in direction and speed as you go up through the atmosphere. But as we got to the peak part of the season, late August through September, the wind shear dropped dramatically and that allowed uh, tropical cyclones to develop very rapidly into the strong hurricanes which we saw. The season started unusually early. Arlene was only the second tropical storm on record to form in the month of April. Between mid-June and early August, another four storms formed. Here's Met Office senior scientist, Joe Camp. During the early part of the season, four tropical storms formed, Brett, Cindy, Don and Emily, and each of these made landfall in either the Caribbean or the United States. Although they were not particularly damaging, it set the trend for the high number of Atlantic landfalls we would see in 2017. By the end of July, there had been five tropical storms in the Atlantic, which is not unusual, but these were relatively weak. From mid-August, this started to change and we started to see the formation of some exceptionally intense hurricanes. From late August, the dynamics changed. Development across the Atlantic and neighboring Caribbean Sea escalated. From Franklin to Ophelia, 10 consecutive Atlantic tropical storms reached hurricane status, the first time since 1893. Now these 10 hurricanes divided exactly across the Saphir Simpson scale two in each category of strength. Cat 1, Franklin and Nate. Cat 2, Gert and Katia. Cat 3, Lee and Ophelia. Cat 4, Harvey and Jose. Cat 5, Irma and Maria. So why was this so unusual? Another reason was that across the Caribbean and the tropical Atlantic, the sea level pressure was generally lower than average. And also, high up in the atmosphere, the temperatures were a little lower than average which meant that the atmosphere was very unstable. This was almost unprecedented because in a typical hurricane season you would expect some hurricanes and they would be interspersed by weaker tropical storms. But this season, for a period of about two months, every single tropical storm which developed turned into a hurricane. There were ten in total and six of those became major hurricanes which had wind speeds in excess of 115 miles an hour. Let's take a look at the three that made the most impact this season, all three being record-breaking. Firstly, Harvey. Hurricane Harvey was the first major hurricane to make landfall in the United States since Wilma in 2005, and it caused considerable flooding across the coast of Texas, particularly around Houston, with one region in particular recording over 60 inches of rainfall, that's over 1,500 millimeters, making Harvey the wettest US Atlantic hurricane on record. Irma was the first of two major hurricanes to impact the Caribbean, affecting over two million people. At its maximum intensity, it was around 185 mile an hour winds, which was the strongest hurricane ever recorded in the Leeward Islands. It also amazingly maintained this intensity for over 37 consecutive hours, which is the longest of any tropical cyclone on the planet. Maria was the second hurricane to impact the Caribbean in 2017, causing catastrophic damage across islands that had been impacted impacted by Irma only two weeks before. It was the strongest to make landfall in Dominica with winds of 160 miles an hour and also the strongest to impact Puerto Rico in more than 90 years. It caused significant damage to Dominica and Puerto Rico and also caused a major humanitarian crisis. So in summary, it was a surprising season loaded with ferocious storms that had a huge impact on the Caribbean and the USA. But these storms also cast their sting further afield, northeast across the Atlantic, 
towards the UK. Four storms impacted the UK in 2017, Gert, Lee, Ophelia and Rena. Each of these passed over the UK as extra tropical systems. The most unusual of these was Ophelia, which formed in the far eastern Atlantic back in October. This storm managed to reach an intensity of 115 miles an hour, making it the easternmost Category 3 Atlantic hurricane on record. Ex Ophelia then passed over the UK, bringing very strong winds and very heavy rain to northern and western parts of the UK. And it also caused a red sun over the UK as it dragged up Saharan dust and smoky air from Portugal.